can can we use Western wheat flour? Yeah, yes. this is the way all Western all-purpose flour. All-purpose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we we would mix a little alum and uh, um, flour. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to make a paste. Cook the the paste. But before uh, that, we need to melt the flour with cold water first. Too many. Just about uh, enough to make a dough, kind of. And you can add it back. Does it matter about lumps? Hmm? Does it Just matter? matter? Yeah, you got to get the lumps out? Get lumps out yeah. with the cold water first. Oh, yeah. It may be confusing. This should be other thing. Not the dough, the batter. Uh -huh. Very thin. Oh, the better. Yeah. yeah. The better. Thinner yeah. than the pan pancake batter. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. So. Get all the lumps. Yeah, you can use the uh, whisk. Yeah. This is uh, easier for me to. I use four chopsticks for that same purpose. No. Uh, I cook the boiling water, just pour it while you stir it. So it's like glue. Yeah, it's yeah. glue. Yeah. Making a glue. Oh, yeah, it's made with flour. Made flour yeah. glue, yeah. When I was a child, we did that. Okay, so you don't cook it, you just uh, pour yeah. water into it. That's what the so the flour is the glue. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You know the constant. You don't need to boil it. It's That's a kind of, of yeah. flour. So. All purpose flour? All purpose or... Ah, all, uh, what's all purpose? Some, some like uh, the uh, cake flour. That's uh, okay because the consistency is so thin, you won't tell the difference. Yeah. That's the point. You can use uh, cake flour. Uh huh. That's fine. That's uh, no. No, no, uh, gluten, no raising. Gluten. No gluten. Uh, ah, no gluten. 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 Yeah. No gluten. No gluten is uh, more um, preferred. Uh, ah, gluten free. Uh, gluten free. Yeah. Yeah. But the alcohol is is just fine. So it doesn't have baking powder in. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. I think you can use a, a sim. What is called the the, the sieve. Sieve. Yeah, to get the, mm. the the lamb if you if you want. Um, I just pick it up when it's on the paper. On the paper. <laughs> yeah. Or um, if you if you found some lamb there, you mm -hmm. can uh, use the spoon, the bottom of the spoon, to for force to lose it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we need to cool it down. Just. Uh, in a refrigerator. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This packing paper has to be the uh, proper size, so I don't have to cut it. You can use any kind of paper as backing. It could be mulberry paper, which is preferred because it's very tough, very strong. Uh, the single shun or uh, double shun may be too heavy. Uh, I will use single shun. This is Confucius. Practice shun. So you can use the Wen Chu paper, which is very good to roll. Oh, yeah. yeah that's perfect. Which one? It's a, uh, let me show you. This is Mulberry Single Shin. No. This is Confu Confucian Shun. Mulberry's another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mulberry's the strong one. Yeah. Should I just use one chore? I think uh, it's about the same size. I can show you this paper. So let's just use this one. Then. So you cut it with a knife. So you need to leave plenty of uh, room for mm -hmm. for the margin. Mm -hmm. It's roughly about twice as uh, the original paper. The backing paper you you need.
the professionals like uh, when too because you can make uh, um, when you mount a big one they, they will use the same uh, backing that they just con uh, combine combine but that's more difficult so for me I will use bigger sheets the whole mm -hmm. sheet so I can go all the way up to the the largest you know if you mount a, the four sheet I have no idea how to do because they would use three pieces of wind chill side mm -hmm. by side mm -hmm. and there will be a seam line behind the painting. Oh. Yeah. I don't really um, do that myself. But what they do is they uh, when the painting is uh, on the table, it's wet with paste, they will just put a piece by piece. Oh, yeah. And then with a little bit uh, overlapping just the tiny bit. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Here, here are the brushes. You need a palm, palm brush and a, a, a goat, goat hair brush. This is goat. No, this is palm, palm fiber, like oh, palm, palm tree, palm, yeah, palm tree yes. skin. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that one is too too old. Uh, I just use the newer one, mm. but uh, the new brush uh, you need to trim the corner to make it like this. You may cut it with scissors, or the corner, you know, just to to trim it, make it uh, rounded. That's uh, better. And uh, this brush is used for paste, pasting. So I soaked it, so it's wet. This one should not be uh, too wet. <laughs> this, this brush is used for uh, pressing the backing paper on to, to brush out the air bubbles. Um, I will show you one by one. Okay. So now we use uh, this for flour paste. What hair was this one? Goat. Goat? Ed. Goat. Yes, goat. Sheep. Sheep hair, was it? Or goat sheep. Hair? Sheep. Yeah. Sheep. 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 Goat or sheep. Uh, <laughs> for me, it's the same. Maybe the longer one is goat. Is that right? Okay, um, sheep. Yeah, sheep hair. So, the first thing you want to do is to put the painting facing down the ta table, so some sometimes uh, this paper, this painting is very translucent. You may make a mistake with the sides. Yeah. Make sure the the uh, front side facing the table. The paste goes on the back, and I spray a little bit moisture just to relax it. Okay. A little bit. Let it uh, stay for a while, for a minute maybe. And I use some more mortar to uh, thin the paste because uh, it's too thick, you can see. It's too thick. We want to make it to, to the consistency, to, consistency like a natural milk, 100% milk. Uh, I mean, not the skim milk or, mm -hmm. or the 2%, uh, just uh, f for milk. It's like a, it's still too thick. Um, yeah, too thick. So it add gradually and then stir it to the consistency like a natural milk. You don't need uh, a lot of glue. A lot of students don't know that they, they put too thick paste. I can show you the, the, the most, also according to the season, like if the weather here is very dry, it dries fast, it can make it thinner. But in the winter season, it could be thicker, maybe the temperatures are uh, humidity higher, we have rain, so you know, that affects the a little bit. I'll just show you what. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the 
the sequence. You you start from the center out to to both sides to the corners of uh, each side, four corners, and then the sides and um, in between the corner and the, the center. The brush can go outside the table or again to clean that. Mm -hmm. So you need a wet uh, towel or paper towel. So this painting is quite strong. If it's a rice paper, just be a little. Um, gentle, you don't want to use the, any of the hard part, just the tip of the long uh, <coughs> brush, long uh, bristle brush. <coughs> okay, you will see some little, maybe uh, wrinkles or waves. What you do is you apply a, a ex excessive water or, or the paste and then make it the painting uh, movable, floating on the table. If it's not enough, it's not easy to get the bubble out. You, you should feed them fully, more than it needed. Right? And then you, you brush all the excessive paint, uh, growth or, or flower uh, paste outside the, the painting. Okay, this side is done. It's, it's this side is not. See, so there's some some wrinkles, some bubbles there. Wrinkles, if you look at uh, here. So you need to first of all make it completely wet, okay. and then just drive out the extra moisture out outside of the painting. Okay, mm. just gentle. If there's a hair loose, you can pick it up. Because so we have streaming here, so it doesn't matter. It's the same <laughs> cool. as this brush. Uh, you can okay, clean the margin with a paper towel. And uh, just use this it's easier. with a kitchen towel. So you don't need to buy special chemical glue or the wall, wall paper glue. Somebody um, showed me how to do that. Uh, I mean, they sent me samples also, uh, but uh, I never tried that. I, I asked my professional friends, the mountain shop owner, she never got uh, used that. She always used natural flour, yeah. natural uh, wheat flour. Okay. Now. You can roll the backing paper. I'll put the smooth side outside. Doesn't matter actually. Doesn't matter which the, side. Which side? Yeah, maybe the the coarse side facing the pic, the painting to make it firmer. Let me do that. Um, smooth side may help with the texture. Into the the paper is too rough, you might use the smooth side. Normally I just use the front side of the paper. And uh, just brush on. So that's why you need to, if your paper is bigger, it's easier. If the paper is small and you might run out of room in the end. So if the, you know, the, it's not, um, the, how do you say, the orientation not uh, correct, you might lose, you know, you, you may need extra space, so you see it's getting narrow, it's very scary mm -hmm. sometimes. So I need the margin to stretch it, that's the least I, 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 I could do, so you can make it, you know, the placement better than this. I should have done that earlier. Anyway, so that's a that's a 
Come on. Okay, now uh, the backing paper is uh, onto the original, but it's not uh, firm yet. So now we do the blotting. I just use regular newspaper. That's what uh, the professional do. You can use news prints, the clean ones for drawing, for the same purpose. But, uh, doesn't lose, doesn't the ink of the uh -huh. newspaper doesn't bleed? On no, because uh, uh, it's water. And uh, maybe I won't use t uh, today's newspaper. This is a way too old. That's fine. And. Uh, This is on, you know, it, it's on the back. Not normally, it never happens. I don't know if the. Uh, let me just try to see. Is it? Do uh, you see anything? No, no, not really. So I will put the two pieces, or you can just use the double, mm. double one like that. Mm. Yes. Like that. Now you're brushing with a dry brush. Right? Yeah, this dry brush. This brush is a, yeah. uh, stiff, quite a stiff brush. It has to be very firm, you know, not yes. the ones you use for your dusting or you know some other purpose. This is special made for this. There are many other use. This is uh, the primary function of it, most important. Part. So you'll see lots of water on this newspaper. I need another uh, another one. So just blot the whole thing first, mm -hmm. and then I'll do it again twice. You can go slower. Like that. That's just my way to do it. So my can move like this, not totally straight. You have to do it mm. with power. Mm -hmm. So you press like a 45 to 30 degrees um, at the angle. So you turn the brush, like flip the brush this way and this way from mm -hmm. center out. So all the air should be gone. And uh, we also take out the extra moisture. One more time. decide uh, which way to lift. Mm. Um, I didn't think about that. Now the convenient way is this, but uh, if I want to do it uh, uh, with the correct orientation, I do it this way. So I will lift this corner. This corner, right? just make sure. Not, not now, actually. You do this first, the, the paste. Just wet, wet the margin. About one inch away from the painting. Or half inch, because I have no room. You intentionally did it with glue, or just can be water? This one uh, could be very thin glue or paste, flour paste. Just what's left, you can dilute it even a little bit more. It's very thin, but not water. 
it has to be strong enough to hold it on the board. This corner is kind of hard to figure out. My left, right hand side. Mm. So I need to pick both sides, not just the back in paper for sure. So I hold the corner like that and just lift it. This is very scary. <laughs> <laughs> if, it lose, if it fall on the ground. You can leave it on the table, just flip it. You know, clean the, the table, so you don't want to have any glue on the table. Uh -huh. So I fixed the first, uh, the top and then the bottom the corner. You don't have to pull it to make it a uh, you know, to stretch because it will stretch by the shrinkage the, the, in the process of drying. So you don't need to worry about any bubble, any air. Don't brush any at all inside. Just to fix the margin. Make it as even. If there's a wave, just make it even. Uh, that's all you need. So don't touch the inside just this is how I use the, this brush to fix the locking the margin to make, make sure it's firm so it will not uh, break during the drying process if it's not fixed it could uh, create uh, big problems you know just uh, 